Hey y'all, today we're talking about some of the crazy and even downright weaselly things that some RV dealers have said to us. So y'all are going to want to stay tuned to the end because can you believe they said that? Really? Alright, so it's really important to us that we have at least 2,000 pounds of cargo carrying capacity. All right, sir, I got you covered. This this RV right here, is, it's reading 1,100 cargo capacity. Uh, no, we need at least 2,000. I mean, what are you possibly gonna be putting in this RV that's gonna weigh that much? <laughs> We're gonna live in it full time. We got clothes, we got a generator, we got when the tanks are full, we got all this stuff. I just think you're just way over exaggerating because that stuff don't weigh that much. <laughs> Seriously? Man, we're, it's our home. It's going to be full time. We live in this thing, or we will be. We need stuff. You take stuff with you. Tools? All right, you want to see the inside now? <laughs> and that's how it goes. <laughs> Seriously. So we got to the RV dealer. We hopped in his little golf cart and off to see our first RV. My first question was, we have a, we want a certain amount of tank size for the gray tanks and black tanks because we plan on doing boondocking. So does this meet our requirements? So he says, you know, the size of the gray tank doesn't really matter because with my family, when we boondock, we just hook up the sewer hose, wait till nighttime, don't want to be seen, and just lay it out into the woods and let her rip. No problems. Tight tank size does not matter. Wow. <laughs> That's what he said. And we just went on looking at RVs with him. And we're like, really? <laughs> But we just kept it in the back of our mind that no, we want a certain tank size. And we want an honest dealer. Now he was honest, but maybe honest and with the right values could be a better way to say it. Right, he <laughs> kind of shared a little too much. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're at another dealership and we're asking the guy, so what does this look like when the slides are in? You know, on travel day, what can we access? What can we get to? Well, that's not a problem. With this RV, once it's all closed in, you can't access anything. But I got a solution. You can just climb over the couch, maybe even the island. And if you have to use the bathroom, you're just going to have to go to a gas station. They will do anything. Some of them will do anything to sell you that RV. Objections do not matter. <laughs> So you get to the dealer and you're all excited because you've been looking on the internet and you're like, Mr. Dealer, I want this certain RV. I have been oogling over it. Do y'all have this RV? We've got everything. Every RV you can imagine, we've got it. Yay, let's go <laughs> see it. So we get into the golf cart and we go onto the lot and the dealer says, we don't have that RV. <laughs> I don't even have anything close to that RV. And wait, let me look at my sheet. Mm. And I'm not gonna show you anything in your budget either. That's what happened. Without them actually saying they wouldn't show us anything in our budget. The guy was sitting there oogling over his paper. He wouldn't even walk in the RVs with it. He just said, I'm trying to find you exactly what you need. And what did he show us? Everything we walked into was total opposite of what we told him. <laughs> I don't think he even hit one point <laughs> of anything. And then the budget was way over our budget mm -hmm. too. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> These things do happen. Yes. So we're in this RV dealership that has a pretty big retail store too. And I walk up to the guy, hey man, do you know what a Dicor is? Huh? Dicor, comes in a tube, put it in a cock gun. What? Lap sealant, man, you put it on the roof, you seal your seams and stuff. I don't know what that is. I just sell RVs. <laughs> Seriously, maybe you shouldn't be. So then I go to the cashier, you know, the little cashier over there that, oh yeah, that's back there. We got it in three different colors. <laughs> really? How do you, I don't expect you to be a technician if you sell RVs, but at least know what lap sealing is. Come on. True story, y'all. Yep, it happened. You know, we honestly love bringing all this content to you. And if you want to help us out, it's absolutely free. All we're asking is that you like the video and subscribe to the channel and that'll tell YouTube that they should start showing our stuff to more people. So 
so we were at the dealer and we were wrapping it up and we were ready to go and we're like all right we're we're gonna just go home and think about it so before you leave right quick we had this employee and they did like our website technical stuff for us they went in and changed a bunch of prices on the rvs now we got them we got all the prices we fixed them but darn it it looks like they did it again on this unit that you were interested in out there on the lot. I have to honor it, but this is one time only. I mean, really? Do you think I'm dumb? <laughs> Except for that last comment, that actually happened. Word for word, it did happen. It was like timeshare on steroids. We had never had such a difficult time getting out of a dealer before. It's like, let us go. Sometimes, <laughs> I guess the lesson we learned is you just have to have a thick skin, stand up, wave goodbye. And we were, you know, even before, we were newbies. We hadn't had the RV mm -hmm. yet, but I didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings. I wanted to listen to the spill, but yeah, we should have just got up and left, but we just stood there. Like I said, you know, it's like a timeshare on steroids, but leave mm -hmm. us your stories in the comments below. We want to know what crazy stories RV dealers have told you to try to get y'all to buy an RV. And you know, it's not just all fun and games. This may actually help somebody, so share it down below.